our successes just uh, kind of when we started way back in 2007. Sure. We, we launched the 150, I think, in the end of 2011. Yes. Our first program where we used some new techniques to help us organize data that we could apply to help understand what the customer really wanted. Sure. And uh, we, I was telling you, I've, I've used that technique to figure out who I wanted to hire for a new position. I've used it to figure out what valve train design we want to use in an engine. And it's, sure. it's just a great technique for using, for organizing data. Um, and it's funny because there's a, a girl I see at lunch, I, when I go to lunch, and uh, she's making life decisions, and she's having trouble making life decisions, and I sent her this tool and said, this is how you do it. And she's come back and says, oh my gosh, I can't believe how useful this is. How, so, much, how much did it change things when you brought the new die casting machine in? Uh, that Mercury was, that, has the largest die casting machine in North America. Two. You have two of them? Yes, we have two of them. Man. Holy uh, monkeys. I remember and, seeing yeah. the, the local news channels, yeah. you know, brought in on 19 or 21 yeah. semi loads of just all yeah. of these pieces to get assembled because it's just such a yeah. an incredibly large piece of equipment. What uh, what role has that played with your ability to innovate new things like we're seeing tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, you know, again, it's part of that uh, maybe refocusing. Because I think sometimes in the past, maybe you try to do something uh, like you minimize it, and you find out actually if you actually uh, buy a bigger die casting machine, you can make a higher quality part. And more. I mean, it's just it's it's a philosophy change that has evolved over time at the company, where you just you know you benchmark competition, you benchmark uh, adjacent industries. Sure. And you learn what they do. You don't. You don't. You're not too proud to go ask, right? You go figure out what's important. Does Does Mercury work with other manufacturers in the in the sand casting or the die casting thing? I know that there's other places like Harley Davidson is right down the street. Briggs and Stratton is right down the street. Briggs does a lot of die casting as well. Do you guys work together, or is that totally unrelated? Uh, I wouldn't. I would say we don't necessarily work together. Would you send we, each other work, so no, to speak, um, if you had too much of one thing going on and they didn't have enough think, of the other? I think we've made parts for some of those companies you've mentioned in the, in the past. Sure, uh, sure. You know, just a point of curiosity. Yeah, just like our lost bone parts, you know, certainly we, we've used for, it's, it's a unique type of design. Yes. Um, but yeah, we've done that. Um, but I think, you know, we, probably the companies you mentioned, we sometimes have the same suppliers, maybe, so we're sure. using those suppliers. Sure. But if there's somebody that we'll find out in the industry that maybe has a, Technology that we're interested in, we'll, we'll see if they'll let us come and talk to them. And it's usually, sure. it's, you know, it's not one of our competition. Sure, right. It's, certainly. It's, it's, a, certainly. it's a parallel industry. Certainly. We'll, uh, will you be around at the docks tomorrow for rides? Absolutely. It'll be fantastic. Look forward to seeing you. All right. Thanks a lot, sir. Yeah.